So how, how do we decide what's full-time, what's half-time, and what's part-time? I and mean, is there a number of classes I've got to take to meet those things? So it really does vary by school because different schools have different um, different plans. You know, that whether they have an accelerated plan where you maybe you take I know only nine courses or nine credits, I should say, but you take them in a shorter time frame than what would be a standard semester or standard quarter. So it, it does really apply to what school you go to to change that. So in general, if you're going a standard semester and it's, and it's a set amount of weeks, then that would be considered full time. If you're not going, let's say you're going 12 credits, that's full time at, at a regular four year school. If you're taking an accelerated course, but it's only nine credits, then the math is done for you so that we say, yes, you're still going full time because that's what the that's what the program is designed to do. But, you know, you're, you're just taking it in, in shorter increments, but we still pay at that full time rate. But then from there, if you decide you're going to take that accelerated course, but I only take six credits this semester instead of nine, then that's going to be reflected on your rate of pursuit because you're not pursuing at a full time level. So then we start dropping it down by about, it goes in increments of 10. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below.